everybody what is good youtube it's your boy rebel back with another video and today i have two banger loras for z image turbo so i actually created both of these loras um the first one is the rebel reel laura for z image it is an aesthetic booster and image enhancer for detail so this also provides dynamic lighting changes it was built on a 150 image data set from Seadream 4.0 of just various shots of lighting, camera angles, various styles, aesthetics. This Laura packs a giant punch when you want detail enhancement or seed variation. The second Laura I have today is also created by me. This is the Rebel Imagine Laura 4Z image. So this Laura will create a dream or nightmare aesthetic on top of your generation. Um, if you do not prompt for dreamlike or nightmare, it will give you a different look, but it will not provide that dream or nightmare look without prompting for it. This is trained on 350 dream and nightmare aesthetic images, including mutants, demons, you know, vampires, um, dreamlike cloud scenes, candy scenes, very vibrant, colorful environments, um, very semi-dark tone environments for the dark side. Um, this one is trained on a lot of data. Um, this one will effectively give you a lot of different looks. So both of these Loras are available on Civit AI. You can go to my links in the description. And so I took the time to bring all of these examples into a multi-batch node and I am going to show you guys the difference between the base model and the two Loras today so you guys can get a better idea of what these are actually for. So the images are listed up here as base model, Rebel Imagine, and Rebel Real in that order all the way down. So if you forget, you can just go back to this part of the video and check. But it will be base model, Rebel Imagine, and Rebel Real the entire way down. Here is our first example. We have a woman with red and blue hair and singular red and blue luminescent eyes. The base model does a really good job of encapsulating the prompt pretty well. Um, there are some major differences when you move over from the base model to the Loras. You have, you know, the eyes actually become luminescent and lit they are vibrant and bright almost as they have a, have a light behind them the ethnicity of the woman has now changed on both um, skin tones detail is enhanced on the skin and eyebrows the hair is different everything just gets boosted with these two loras moving down we have a anthropomorphic dog walking in times square holding an iphone in a nike sweatsuit so this is the base model, Rebel Imagine, Rebel Real. You can see how the model really starts to take on its own character as the lores are implemented on both sides. Two different completely looks. Moving down, we have our zombie slash ghoul at an abandoned mall. So the base image, Rebel Imagine, Rebel Real. The base image actually did a really, really good job at executing this prompt. Um, the Rebel Imagine got really creepy, and the Rebel Reel got extremely detailed, which is kind of going to be the case that you're going to find, like, Rebel Imagine is going to provide either a dreamy or creepy aesthetic on top of it, and the Rebel Reel is just going to accentuate detail tenfold, so... Moving down, we have a ninja poised to fight, looks like an endless amount of other ninjas. So the base model, pretty standard. You know, this almost looks like a iPhone shot image. You move to the Imagine and you start getting, you know, some effects in the sky, um, different tone change. And moving to Rebel Reel, you get, you know, accentuation on the fog. You have, you know, a little bit better of dynamic lighting 
kind of harsher shadows on the man's clothing. Moving down, we have a red-scaled fire-breathing dragon. So these two somehow missed the arms on the dragon, and I'm not really sure how. But they came out essentially the same. You can see how this Rebel Imagine Laura really starts to take effect on the aesthetic change. And then moving over to the Rebel Reel, you just get an accentuation of everything. And it actually provided the arms that it was missing. So <clears throat> extremely useful for fixing problems that you may have had in the base model that don't exist because this data set is only 7 billion parameters. It's inevitably going to be missing a lot of detail. So the Rebel Reel will accentuate that because it is trained on dragons. So Moving down, we have Super Mario standing on a Lamborghini in Cleveland, Ohio. So the base model did a really good job. I think actually, honestly, all three of these did equally a good job. They didn't lose any of the character. Everything is pretty fluid. It makes sense. Moving down, we have a close-up shot of the same ninja. So the base model did a really good job with realism and texture. The Imagine Laura gave a bit of a semi-dark kind of, you know, movie tone, cinematic almost. And the same thing with Rebel Reel, it just accentuated the lighting. You're going to notice that Rebel Reel executes lighting very, very well. Um, the Imagine Laura will too, but it's not trained fully to that degree as the Rebel Reel is, because that was a main focus of the Rebel Reel Laura, was dynamic lighting. Moving down, we have a dream scene to showcase the difference of the base model and the two Lauras. So the base model executed the prompt. It, it did. Um, but again, this base model will remind you of like magazine images or advertisement images. They're very like standard, whereas the Imagine Laura really accentuates the dreamlike state of the cloud and the colorful room and the vibrancy. Same thing with the Rebel Real Laura. Um, not as much, arguably, as the Imagine Laura because it's not trained for this, but it does provide a detail enhancement that you wouldn't have on the base model. So everything gets accentuated. Moving down, we have a macro close up of a beetle. So these are more of a preference shot, I would say, because the base model beetle looks extremely real, right? Extremely real. The Imagine Laura gave it, you know, a almost like a mid-journey aesthetic with the contrasting. You do lose some detail, like underneath the uh, Beetle's body, but... And then moving to the detail-enhancing Rebel Real Laura, you get those details back in a different way, and you're actually given a little bit more detail that didn't exist. If you look at the base model, one of these antennas is actually missing. And my Laura corrected it and put it back. So, keep that in mind. Moving down, we have a macro close-up of an eyeball. So, the base model executed this extremely well. I mean, this looks like a, a close-up macro shot of an eyeball. The Imagine Laura kind of gave it more of a... Unreal engine effect, I guess you could say. It's it's kind of almost like painted in a way. Not but not a bad look. Not a bad look. And then the Rebel Real detail enhancer just smashed this. I mean, the the amount of detail increase from the the base model to this is astounding. I mean, there's no reason I would use the base model when you have this Laura. I mean, everything gets accentuated. Moving down, we have a haunted house um, in Cleveland, Ohio. The base model kind of just really executed a proper house. Um, same thing with the other two, but you'll notice the lighting change. Moving down, we have a demon in a 
business suit, drinking a glass of whiskey, reading his phone, base model executed properly. I mean, I, I can't hate on this. It's it's very good. The Imagine Laura, which was designed technically for this, really enhanced the base detail of the demon, making it look less human-like. And the Rebel Reel kind of just accentuated the previous detail. The aesthetic is different, though. So, I mean, you have more contrast coloring. You have, you know, different molding on the fireplace. A little bit better texture on the chair. Here we have Shrek eating a sandwich. Photorealistic Shrek eating a sandwich. Um, base model, obviously, smashed it. I mean, that looks one-to-one -one like Shrek. Um, the Imagine Laura kind of gave it more of an animation look and did give me some things that I wasn't happy about. Like, he looks like he's almost wearing eyeliner and has nail polish on. Um, still viable, though. It would, I mean, people would know that's Shrek. The Rebel Reel model did a good job. Um, it did change his facial structure a little bit in eyes, which kind of look a little strange. It looks like a different version of Shrek, I guess. But details, I mean tenfold enhanced compared to this image so I mean, you can see all of the the lighting that gets pulled onto the shirt the you know the shadowing way more prominent than the base image also the base image was not able to get four fingers and a thumb it only got three fingers both of my lore has corrected that moving down we have a macro close-up of a woman's eyes so the base model obviously did a great job with this. Um, the Rebel Imagine gave s similar to a mid-journey lighting aesthetic. And the Rebel Reel boosted the detail tremendously. I mean, you can see everything so much better on the Rebel Reel Laura than you can on the base image. Arguably. Moving down, we have a macro close-up of a Nike sneaker. Um, pretty standard. I'm not really going to go over this because, I mean, it's self-explanatory. They all look about the same. The Rebel Imagine Laura, though, was trained on multiple variations of shoes. Not, like, specifically, but they were in the images, so I'm guessing this can pick up different looks for Nike sneakers than the two other ones will. Moving down, we have Santa Claus on a roof in his sleigh. Um, all of them did a really good job at this. I'm not going to hate on the base model. Um, I do prefer the aesthetic of the Rebel Reel, just because it's a little bit more sharp and vibrant. Um, the Imagine Laura, though, more cinematic. Like, the, the shadowing and the camera angle is a bit more cinematic. I kind of like this. Moving down, we have an astronaut. Uh, hovering outside of Earth's atmosphere. Pretty standard. Um, the only thing I will say is the Rebel Reel kind of got some weird artifacting going on here. That could be because I ran this at 1.0 at first and had swapped some point around this time to 0.75 strength. So, Nevertheless, the recommended strength is 0.4 to 0.8. Moving on, we have a whiskey glass sitting on the top of a rustic bar. Um, All of them executed properly. I will say that the Imagine Laura providing the pieces of ice was a nice touch. You'll also see that the reflection and shadow of the glass is not as prominent in the base model as compared to the two Lauras. Here we have a zombie scene. So, the base model executed really well. Um, the Rebel Imagine did a good job. I just was expecting a bit more, like, pose difference between the characters. Not for them all to have the same angle walking, but I didn't prompt for it, so. Um, I do prefer the Rebel Reel, though. Um, the contrasted lighting kind of makes this look more realistic as far as it being, you know, dusk. 
and should see heavy shadowing like this. And this one kind of looks more like a, you know, iPhone shot. Moving down, we have a man holding a ball of fire in his hands. So the base model, I noticed, struggles heavily with, you know, ethereal or like mythical or um, physical anomalies like holding a ball of flame. Nothing is really trained on that. So you'll see that the Imagine Laura really, really smashed this. I trained the Laura on multiple variations of this type of image. So that's why you're seeing the flame actually encapsulated in his hand. The same thing with the Rebel Real Laura, but you'll see that it's not trained as hard on it. I think I only had thrown one image in, so it's trying to put something in his hand on top of it. But it is tenfold better than the base models. Moving on, we have a woman in a red dress standing in a doorway with some dynamic lighting. The base model was able to capture the dynamic lighting to a degree, but as you can see, the Imagine Laura and the real Laura really, really smashed that 10 times better than the base model. Here we have a funny one. It's a anthropomorphic cow in a biker jacket standing in a Walmart parking lot next to a motorcycle. All three of them did a really good job. I'm not being a hater. I do prefer the Imagine Laura because it's just a bit more realistic as far as the cow's head um, and, you know, the physics behind the anthropomorphism of the body. It just, it just looks a little bit more believable, you know, and the lighting, the dynamic lighting is incredible here. The Rebel Real Laura did good, arguably. Kind of hard to choose which one's the best there. I, I do think Rebel Imagine smash that. Here we have a woman drinking coffee alone in a coffee shop, dynamically lit. So this one is pretty much preference. I do prefer the Imagine just for the lighting change. You have a high contrast and sharpness. So here we have two examples and the final two. So this is a man in a cyberpunk cyborg suit holding a orb of energy with volumetric clouds surrounding him in a white studio room. The other three are just a close-up of that without the clouds. So if you ask me, this is again going to be just strictly preference. Um, all of these images are viable if you look at all of them, all six. All of these were generated on the same 12, 12, 12 seed. So this could just be fixed had I ran this again. I just wanted this to be as fair as possible of a comparison. So I didn't want to change anything about the sample settings so that we could get a good idea of the difference between generations. So that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. Just wanted to get you guys these two Loras so you can start testing them and boosting your generations because the base model for the image is really good but i feel that these loras will help provide the extra push that you're looking for in your generations so if you enjoyed what you saw today you can subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on the video to let me know how i did you can also leave a like on the video it helps the channel tremendously so go ahead and get these loras downloaded start generating if you guys don't mind Throw a couple generations that you make with the Loras in the galleries for me so that I can see what you guys are working on. All right, guys. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.